everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So we're here today because it is Thursday, which means it's book list Thursday. This is something I do with Sarah over at Sarah's Nightstand. We come to you every Thursday with some sort of thoughts, ideas, recommendations, something bookish related. Speaking of bookish related, let's talk about my coffee cup. Just saying. I love it. I think I found it at TJ Maxx. Maybe. I don't know. I love it. So it's my latest, my latest purchase. Okay. So theme for today is, uh, since yesterday was Valentine's day and we're showing our love and getting all romantic. Um, you would think we'd come here and recommend some romance books to you, but we're not. Uh, we're, we are recommending books to you that maybe fall under a different genre but have a solid romance within them. So if you're like me and you're not one that likes to consume all of the romantic books, I do like them occasionally, um, but I, I like a good love story. You can definitely find them in other genres. So first one I wanna talk about is This Calder Range by Janet Daly. This is an older book, it is a series. This follows basically the Calders um, as they set out to Montana on a cattle drive to basically start their life. And so there's, definitely a solid romance there. It's at the very beginning of their, we get the, a glimpse of them before they're married, but then at the very beginning of their marriage, it's rocky. It's not the best at all times, but it is definitely laid with love. And there's, there's a sweet romance between the two characters in that, that I really, really appreciated. The next book I want to talk about is I Shot by Taylor Adams. And you're thinking Taylor Adams and romance. There's nothing you could think of that's further apart. True, yet not. So in iShot, we are, we're following a couple, um, James and L. Eversman. Um, they're traveling through the Mojave Desert, uh, basically on a new, it's a new start for them. They're moving, they're starting over, they're really excited, they're a young couple, they're in love, it's all great. Um, but their car very mysteriously breaks down on this very off the path road and detour that they're forced to take. And basically they're being hunted. So not only do you have the suspense that Taylor Adams brings, but you have this couple who desperately loves each other and desperately wants to survive this. Um, so you get that little taste of romance in there. So I really enjoyed it. I thought I shot was better than Hairpin Bridge from, by Taylor Adams. Um, I'm trying to read, read him to zero because he's such a fantastic author. But if you're looking for suspense with a little side of a love story, there you are for me. Or there you are. Okay, next one. We're just going to keep going all over the place. Um, we've got a fantasy. So Akatar, there's, it starts with a court of thorns and roses. This is a court of mist and fury. These are by Sarah J. Mass. Um, it is a like, fairy tale real telling ish with fae and humans and crazy crazy stuff but the romance in this book is hot and steamy and so perfect it's so perfect i'm not going to tell you who it's between because i don't want to spoil anything but um definitely on point this one this is my favorite out of the series i loved every single page of this behemoth to the point where i still have tabs in it <laughs> It's it's just so, it was fantastic and very, very steamy. So fair warning on that one, but it was awesome. Then we have All the Little Raindrops. This is by Mia Sheridan. This one I read recently, and this one, again, is more of a horror or thriller-ish. Um, we have Noel and Evan. They've been kidnapped, and they're being housed in cages in this strange, strange place and asked to do unthinkable things. And they basically make a pact to be like, we get out of this together. They should not be making a pact. They should be mortal en enemies. Basically, and this is all in the back, Evan's father got away with killing Noelle's mother. It's all insanity. Um, they have to basically come together in order to successfully escape, which again, all in the back. Then we start into our story. There's definitely a little bit of a romance in here. It comes in a little later into the book, but I thought it was sweet and I loved it. It was just the right little additive that I needed for this book. And the last one I have is Codename Helene. This is by Ariel Lahan, which we all know I love dearly. 
Uh, so this one takes place early, or mid 1930s. Nancy is a young journalist living in Paris and kind of breaking that like glass ceiling a little bit, um, maybe getting into places that women weren't normally a part of. Um, but while she is there, she falls in love with a French industrialist, Henry. And Henry just sweeps Nancy off of her feet. And it is such a glorious love story. And you just, you can't help but love them. They quickly get married um, right about the same time that the Germans invade France. And then it starts and Nancy needs to start taking a code name. We have interweaving timelines organized by her four code names. Um, it follows her transformation from journalist to one of the most powerful leaders in the French resistance as well as the love story between her and Henry. And it is so glorious and so fantastic. And I just love it. I, st I still think about this. It's just, it's so good. So another really great love story. So there you have it. Some, a little bit of romance in maybe some not normal <laughs> places that you would find it. Um, but I love a good book that has a little extra love involved in it. So if you have any book recommendations, you want to leave them below, absolutely go ahead. I like adding to my list of possibilities. Other, head, otherwise, head over to Sarah's channel and see what she has for us today. Um, and like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you next time. Bye.